what's our show all about? Um, real estate. <laughs> That's boring. I know. We're going to make it a lot more fun than that. But real estate is exciting. I mean, let's be honest. What's happening right now? Is, yeah. There's a lot gonna... of excitement. Um, I mean, it's just... It, that's why we know we need a weekly show. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our first edition of the Rob and Ange Real Estate Show. Yeah. In the beginning, we're just going to um, put it on my channel for maybe one or two episodes, series, whatever you want to call it. Sounds good. And then we're going to be creating our own YouTube channel, which by the time you see this, it may be down in the uh, description below. This show is going to air once a week, every Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to throw in some fun stuff. Um, we've got even some guests that we're going to bring in, uh, sort of. Sort of. We have one special no, guest we'll today. Only one? Okay, we'll have, we're just going to we'll have see. one today. And it's going to be off the cuff. It's not going to be scripted. Well, we kind of have like an outline, but we're just going to, you know, go with the flow and see how it works. Yep. Fun. We could have called it Rob and Edge have a lot of fun <laughs> on a camera with some microphones. Or sure. peace, love, and real estate. And rock and roll. Rock. <laughs> see, we couldn't fit it all in. So we said Rob and Edge show. Yep. Real estate show. And who's Ange? That's me, yeah. Angela O'Hare, and that's Rob. What's your last name? Yeah. Ange stands for awesome, neat girl, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, my, my last name is Howe, and now you know how. Rob Howe. Rob Howe. Leaving now. <laughs> yes. The dad <laughs> jokes will flow. <laughs> we always like to just start out this show with something fun, and we're going to go over the picture of the week. Oh dear, if you're having any, if, if any of your photos, even one looks like this on a listing that you've had in the past, we'd like to hear from you. But also, if that's happening in currently in one, one of your listings, I mean, <laughs> you got problems. Yeah. It's not good. Okay, so this kitchen <laughs> is, wow. Okay, somebody's a collector and they just, they just want to show off all their things. And just remember, we're not making the fun of the way somebody lives. It's more about the way somebody is selling their home. I mean, you got to understand, you're trying to sell your home to uh, somebody that, so you're trying to make it so that your home is, is inviting to somebody new to be in it. It's not, it's no longer going to be yours. So you really have to make it inviting to everybody. Now, in this case, they might've been trying to hide those awesome Formica, you know, countertops. laminate wood wannabe countertops that were so popular at one time. I mean, I don't know if they ever and were. And also the artwork on the refrigerator. Oh yeah, the, the beautiful <laughs> artwork. It makes me feel like if I was to go get a, you know, a water out of there, it's gonna fall off the front of the fridge. That, my OCD is shooting off all over the and place. And then all the knickknacks on the top. Um, yeah. Oh, dusting fever. Exactly, I mean, like, exactly. I mean, a kitchen's supposed to be clean and this is what a kitchen yeah, it, it, not look it like. actually looks like they keep it pretty clean, <laughs> which is another like, wow, how do you do that? It's but, cleanly organized or disorganized. Yeah, yeah. Neatly disorganized. But for sale, this is not for sale. You're sending the signals that this is still my home and I really don't even want to sell it to you. This is my home. I'm not leaving. This exactly. is all my stuff. Don't send those signals. And if you buy it, it's going to take me months just to get this whole place in shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. If you're that seller, you know, the, what it is, you really, I mean, it's our job to have that sort of coming to Jesus moment and say, hey, listen, are you really trying to sell this home? Because if you are, it's time to get the boxes out early and the garage is the place where some of this stuff can go and or, and, or get a storage unit exactly. cooled if it needs to be for those items that you don't want to have in, uh, in our Vegas heat if it's summertime, right? Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, that picture. We don't want to see those on any any listings. And if you saw one on ours, well, we were doing it on purpose. I can guarantee <laughs> it. We were having fun in some way, shape, or form, but so I can't think of this picture actually leads us into a tip. Yes. So the tip is when you're listing, especially in your kitchen, you want it, everything needs to go. Those yeah. canners need to be free and clear of yep. everything. Yep. I mean, even coffee machines, right? Just I mean, the bare yeah, minimal stuff. You, you're gonna you're gonna adapt your daily life a little bit to the sale of your home. It's going to pay you dividends to do that. So why not do it? You know, if, maybe a coffee machine or even a, a a toaster oven can be out, but it really has to look like it fits in and everything is very open. You want to 
show those counter spaces like it's the great wide open, you know. And you're moving already, so why not just pack ahead of time? Yeah, get the stuff ready, get it ready to go. I The one foot out the door approach is how approved and uh, O'Hare approved as well, yes. as, as well. So, <laughs> you know, get that one foot out the door. Some people think, well, you know what, if I've already got one foot out the door, it, you know, it shows that I'm like desperate or something. No, 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 no. It shows that you're serious right. and you're looking for a serious buyer, a serious offer to come on the table. So I'm serious and I'm seriously ready to go, but I need you to help me bring that offer in. So Exactly. And it shows the buyers that, hey, you know what? I can move out in a moment's notice. I'm yep. not going to take That's another months thing. to clear out this exactly, crap. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so it really sets mine at ease. It puts comfort. It also allows somebody to see the home in themselves in it. Um, that's definitely a wonderful tip. I think it's probably, you know, really high up on my list when I'm sitting down with somebody and talking to them. And again, a lot of times I'm in somebody's home and I really like the way they have it for themselves. This is your home. I love people personalizing their home. That's part of being a, a wonderful experience to be a realtor right. is that you get to see how people do things after they buy a home with you, you know, and that's that's beautiful. But when it comes to sell time, <laughs> there's a lot of things that are uh, important and that's one. Exactly. So in these Robin Ann shows, our goal is to always go over a picture of the week and, you know, things can change and we're always fluid and always changing because nothing's ever yeah. permanent. But then we also would want to go over a tip that reflects that picture. Yep. So tell us, tell us if you like those things and hey, if you even have an idea, throw it in there. We want to hear about it. Exactly. And we will eventually go, be going live and doing live podcasts or live shows yeah so that we can hear your feedback and tips and tricks and promoting this too as well we really want to let people know that we're doing this we think we have a lot of information and uh information is real information right. good information is is gold so the next is um the market, market update, update. Yeah. there are some interesting things that have happened our market update is based on what last week's numbers which is august 23rd through the 29th okay so this is a lot of there's a lot in here there's yeah. more than just numbers there's a lot of information and information is what we're here we're exactly. here exactly so and always we just discuss single family residents it's um a lot of information when we start going into details with the condos townhouses and then higher high end but yeah like, no, but you can surmise base. a lot from just single family residents right. right so there's a that's why it's a focus it's kind of the heart it's the muscle it's boop 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 right so. exactly it's the bulk of the real estate market in las vegas yeah and last week alone for that week of august august 23rd through the 29th there were 637 single family homes that went Sold. That's sold. Sold. That's sold. sold. That's sold. We like that word. So then we thought it was interesting. Okay, so we have these 637 homes. Let's look and see what the highest price home was and what the lowest price yep, home was. The high low. And that was actually some interesting numbers. Yeah. 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 Absolutely yeah. interesting. And um, I mean, I mean, where to start? So I think <laughs> I, I, I would I'll jump to the lowest price because I think that's very interesting for some people. Uh, you know, what is the lowest price property that sold last week? Well, it was n at least single family residents. It was 98,500. Yeah. That was the lowest single family home that bought. I mean, I remember a time when that was like, you know, kind of middle ground when I got into the real estate. So sales were going crazy, but we're no longer there. And that house is a two bedroom, two bed one bath, one bath. And it is in North Las Vegas. Um, 800 and some square feet 800 and just just done it about 861 it's sold for cash this is important this is the type of information that the numbers don't you know show your 98,000 dollar 500 98,500 dollar property that sold just for cash there's a reason why it sold for cash it was built in 54 maybe it had some you know conditions that would be tough on loans but also lenders don't like to at loan lower amounts of money right um so uh it's possible but you, but you start having ratios change when you're getting into lower amounts of money so that's why that i wanted to make a point about it's sold for cash right and the what else highest cash? yeah price home believe it or not mm -hmm. last week was five million three hundred and fifty thousand what 
in McDonald's Ranch, which is Foothills at McDonald's Ranch. This home had seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, over 14,000 square feet, and it sold for cash. Cash. Five million dollars in cash. Five million three hundred fifty to be exact. And right. actually, I think that was a pretty good deal looking at it. I mean, yeah, it may not be everyone's taste, but it is pretty awesome home. I yeah. mean, she told you that what's there. I mean, we could share. We could get a few. We could have quite a commune there together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on 14,000 square 485 feet. square yeah. feet. So somebody, I, you know, they come in with cash and they do quite a number on, uh, you know, I think the original list price, we should probably should have looked that up. Next time we'll Next make time. sure to do that. But I, I, I think that's probably a deal for that property, which leads me to, th to say that I think the luxury home uh, properties are going for a little bit less. They're moving them. They're moving. moving. We, we had 22 of them that sold last week alone. Right. That tells us that we're actually on pace to do more than we did last month. Uh, we did 60 64. some. 64. We're probably on pace to do like 80 some, which is pretty darn yeah, good. Yeah, 80. If you figure 20 a week. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're 80, maybe 90 uh, luxury homes. That means they're selling. And, and those homes are also selling for uh, less than list price uh, in a lot of the cases. So. Um, that and most you. of them are, believe it or not, are cash. That brings me to where we're at with the listings in total that are, that are on the market right now. Right. Uh, at least when we're recording this. Which is Sunday. Which is Sunday, which is a few days ahead of when we're going to put it out. 5,243. And last week, if we judge based off of what we had last or this last week, six, seven, 637, it means that we had we're going to have around four forty eight hundred sales for the month, um, and that is quite a bit of our inventory. So yeah. that tells that's the story within the numbers is that we are very low inventory still. So sellers, come on, where are you? Yeah, I think for July's numbers, if I remember correctly, it was like thirty four hundred homes that sold. Yeah. So if we do forty eight, that's fourteen. 1,800 more than what we sold yeah. for July. That's it means huge. the market is cooking still, and but the numbers of homes on the market are not increasing by leaps and bounds. We'd normally have quite a few more in, uh, in normal times, right. right? And I just did a video on why it is an awesome time to sell your home in Las Vegas right now. Now is the word. Now, right. now, 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 yeah, now. Yeah, now, now really now. is the time to sell. Right. And... Ozzy boy wanted to be part of our video. And here comes Izzy. Ozzy and Izzy. Hey, Izzy, Izzy, Ozzy and Izzy are my two babies. <laughs> That's right. We are pet friendly. So another segment that we would like to discuss is things that are happening in the news. Yeah. We'll be brief about it. And we will always link back to our source down in the description below. In the news. Uh, there has been some rumors swirling about that uh, that there you cannot discriminate uh, against uh, Section 8 um, if you are a landlord or a property manager. Um, there is some detail to understand that uh, th that may not exactly be the case. And so, if you're if you were to have Section 8, you actually uh, have to go through an approval process through Section 8. Um, that's part of the state. So that sounds like an undue burden to be able to be forced to uh, have a Section 8 person and then you'd have to do all the things in the approval process in order to rent your property. So that is a stipulation in there. Now we're going to put a, uh, a link to, to the information there because there's quite a bit and this is an ever-changing thing. The idea that there will be, you know, that you can't look for cr certain criteria uh, when you're in renting your home as far as how where somebody's income comes from sounds like a pretty scary proposition to me as a landlord myself. Right. Um, but it, I, I think it's getting worked out, and I would hope that we come to a place where it makes sense because there are going to be people who may be sort of unfairly evicted in this in this time that probably shouldn't be um, considered, you know, as that kind of an eviction. So anyways, that's just kind of a little opinionated thing right there from me, but... <laughs> Ozzy thinks so too. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that all lands. We hope it lands for the better. I think for the most part in Vegas, there's been some sanity when it comes to what's happened. So sometimes when we see these things that sound a little insane, 
take a minute, take a deep breath, and see how it all ends. Exactly. So without further ado, we are going to introduce our special guest pretty soon, and he is going to predict the future. I'm not going to tell you his name. I'll let him introduce himself. Come on in. Hello, everybody. <laughs> my name is Prey. My name, my full name is Mr. Prey Dicting. That's right. I am from a country near France, but not quite in Europe. And I'm here for kindness <laughs> to give you the information that I have through my prediction skills about real estate in the future. Do you like the real estate in the future? Yeah, I would like to know. Please Good. tell me more. Your name is what? My name is Prey. Prey? Predicting. 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 <laughs> That's Predicting. an interesting name. Yes. As we know, there are, uh, there is a moratorium on evictions yes. in Las Vegas, Nevada, and really all over the country. But in Las Vegas, Nevada, the moratorium is coming to an end on September 1st. Which by the time you see this, it's already came to an end. Right. But my prediction, which you can count on and take to the bank, is that it's going to be extended. So that's interesting. So you think that somebody, the governor or whoever is going to governor, extend- Gubernatorial. Gonna extend the moratorium like for renters. That's right. And what, what does that mean? Evictions, evictions period. Evictions, okay. No evictions. No evictions. So that could be good news for you and hopefully Mr. Predicting. That's right. Is predicting the right answers. No, this is a prediction that I, I will say one month at minimum, probably two months. Okay. Maybe longer. Yes. So how does the, if you predict it, what do you think the landlords are, are, are thinking? This is a further prediction of mine. Okay. Now you are getting into my next, <laughs> I, it's a perfect uh, segue into my new, it, my new uh, feelings okay. on these predictions that are coming. Momento. Yeah. So the landlords, okay. the landlords are nervous right now. They're very nervous. They yeah. don't like not getting rentals. They like though, that their properties are worth monies, money, money, monies. Yep. So these landlords, they want to sell. Some of them, look at me, don't lie to me. Landlord, I know you, I know you well. My predicting skills are on here. <laughs> My prediction is that by next year, maybe, by next year, when this is lifted, the moratorium is lifted, landlords are going to hit the bell button. Yep. They're going to get out. Not all of them at once, of course. Not all of them at once. That's not a, that's not my prediction. No. Potentially, there's going to be a lot on the market. Yes. But we'll save year. that segue for another. All I right. predict. Not too many predictions for I Craig. will predict that you will have more predictions for me ah, on our next episode. I will. <laughs> I can and I will. Exactly. If I can predict for you, and I will. I can predict for anybody. Exactly. If it's real estate. Well, I thank you for coming today. I really appreciate ah, your welcome. your predictions you're and hopefully welcome. you will be here next episode. Maybe. We really appreciate you watching this time. Make sure that you, you know, smash the subscribe button, the like button, share with a friend. Let everyone know for the Robin and Real Estate Show is hitting Worldwide, right? <laughs> Worldwide! <laughs> Stay tuned every week, every Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, where you get to learn a lot about the Las Vegas real estate, tips and tricks of real estate, yeah. news, predictions, predictions from, from Prey. Yeah, from Prey. Okay. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, you know what to do down in the bottom. As always, we thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next one. That's right. Right? Now it's time to Peace. say goodbye. R-E-A-L-E-S-T-A-T-E. -E. Bye. Bye.